So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us so beautifully that you seek forgiveness, I will forgive you. If you haven't sought forgiveness and it's a minor sin and you continue to do good deeds, I will automatically wipe out those minor sins. But if it is a major sin, and a major sin is that sin wherein Allah has stipulated a punishment for it in this world and the next. And Allah has spoken about how severe it is. That becomes a major sin. Those who engage in major sin would require a specific repentance in order to be forgiven. So you can't just say, Oh Allah, forgive all my sins that I've committed, knowing that you committed major sins. You've got to say, Oh Allah, I did this on that day. I'm confessing to you alone. I regret it. I admit my sin. I ask you to forgive me and I promise you I'm not going to do it again. The minute all those four conditions are met, immediately, the first time you asked Allah's forgiveness for that sin, you were forgiven. You are taught to repeat the act of uh, repentance again and again in order to elevate your status and to become closer to Allah, not because you're doubting the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in that verse number 160 of Surah Al-An'am, وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ They will never be oppressed. Trust me, my brothers and sisters, the comfort Allah gives us is such that He's looking for any excuse to show you His mercy. He's looking for any excuse to forgive, to wipe out, to actually help you forth into Jannatul Firdaus, into paradise. May Allah grant us that paradise.